Welcome to a short demonstration of the Biodiesel Buddy smartphone application for Android. Biodiesel Buddy is a smartphone app that allows you to use your mobile device's location services to find nearby biodiesel retail locations where you can purchase biofuel. It also helps you track your biodiesel usage so you can see how you're helping the environment. Like any Android app, you'll start the application from your launch screen. Biodiesel Buddy has several different screens that we'll go through quickly here. First of all, you probably are going to want to find out where you can purchase biofuel in your area. So we'll go up to the top tab bar and click on stations to take us to the station screen. After a few seconds, uh, assuming you have location services enabled on your mobile device, the application should be able to find uh, your current location and use that to search for biodiesel stations in your area. As you see here, uh, our simulated Android device is in Seattle, Washington, so it's found us several uh, biofuel locations in the Seattle area. You can view short details about the stations here in the list view, uh, including the address. Uh, for most stations, it shows available which blends the particular biodiesel uh, retail location has available. In this case, for example, B20 and B99 are available. Uh, it also gives you a quick link over on the right, uh, a button that allows you to call the biodiesel station. Since not all stations are open 24 hours, you may want to call ahead. Some stations also carry fuel uh, on a seasonal basis, so you might want to check beforehand uh, for that reason too. Uh, you can also click on the map button, which will take you onto a familiar Android map view that shows uh, icons printed uh, on the map, little soybeans, that represent all of the locations that the application previously found for you. Uh, like any Android map view, you can zoom in and pan around. Uh, if you click on one of the soybean icons, you can see some uh, information, detailed information on that particular station. Once again, you have the option to call the station directly from your mobile device. Uh, you can get directions to the station from where you currently are. And you can also offer feedback in case you think the station database uh, has errors that should be corrected. In this case, we're going to click on the directions button, uh, in which case we'll open the Google Maps application which Android users should all be familiar with, uh, that will show you how to route yourself from where you currently are to where the station is. <clears throat> okay, we're going to uh, take a look at this. In this case, uh, I'm only a mile and a half or so away. And as you see, you can get uh, driving directions uh, and see graphically on the map exactly where you need to get to to get to this particular uh, biofuel station. If we go back, we can return to the Biodiesel Buddy application. And we'll go over a couple of the other features that you might want to use with the app. And back to this screen. So once you're at the biofuel station, you're probably going to want to track your biofuel usage. The way you do that is you look at the odometer on your car's dashboard, and you'll enter in the mileage, oops, that's a little too much, uh, that your odometer is currently reading. Then you can enter in, after you filled up, exactly how much fuel you purchased, down to the tenth or hundred or whatever you prefer. You also select which blend you just purchased, since most, most stations have a variety of different blends. Many biofuel uh, locations sell B99, which is a 99% blend of biodiesel, biodiesel. That's what we'll pick here. And we'll, just for grins, mark what the current level of our tank is before we filled up. All done. And we'll press the Save button. Now, in this case, this happened to be our very first entry. So, uh, as you see, it already gave us some statistics telling us how much carbon dioxide savings uh, was equivalent to 
the amount of fuel that we just purchased. It doesn't yet give us fuel economy statistics because it needs two fill-ups in order to do that. So let's fast forward a couple of weeks and say that we're filling up again. Enter our hypothetical new odometer reading. And how much we bought this time, we'll say 11 gallons. Say B99 again, done. And we're going to save. And there it now shows us that for this last batch of fuel, we averaged 43 miles per gallon. Since we've only consumed one batch of fuel so far, the total fuel economy is also 43 miles a gallon. This number will, of course, change over time, but it's a great way to keep track of exactly what your mileage is. And if you have any changes uh, associated with your car's performance or associated with using different blends of biofuel, uh, the application will give you a good indication of what those might be. It also tracks in total uh, what the total average percentage of biofuel uh, you've been using has been. In our case, we purchased B99 twice, so of course it says 99% biofuel. If we go here to the history icon up on the upper tab bar, it now shows us uh, the history of the two fill-ups that we've entered. If you like, you can opt to long press on one particular row, and you can either delete the entry on that row, or you can edit the description. In this case, we're going to edit the description, and maybe we'll just type in the name of the particular station that we purchased biofuel at. Uh, you certainly don't have to enter these details. You can if you like. Like I said, it might be a, a good way to keep track of where you got your fuel. Let's say we got some fuel at Safeway, and all done. Uh, there's a number of different settings that you can configure within the app. You can pick what wallpaper uh, you use to back up your odometer screen. Let's pick algae. The wallpapers are um, a selection of potential biofuel feedstock, some of which are commercially viable and some of which maybe are future possibilities. It can be a fun way to customize and personalize your app. There's also settings to change the search radius in terms of how far away from your current location the app will uh, search for stations, and some ways to personalize how the app um, compares your carbon dioxide savings and how it updates its station database. If you have any questions, you can go to the help screen. There's some detailed instructions on performing common operations, as well as a frequently asked questions section. You can get detailed explanations of what all of the individual settings do, what they're used for, and what you might want to set them to. And there's also a link so that if you do have further problems or questions not covered in the help, you can email me directly from the app and from your Android-powered smartphone. Thanks for watching, and this has been a quick demonstration of Biodiesel Buddy for Android, available on the official Android market.